All right, lads. Today we are revealing voice actors we consider for Waluigi in the Mario movie. So let's see who's first. First we have Christian Bale. He's so hot. I guess he's now playing the Italian psycho. But that's simply not possible. And I don't find this funny anymore. It never was supposed to be. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? <laughs> As I'm sure you're aware, Illumination released a Mario movie, and I saw it. I'll give my thoughts later in a brief review at the end, however, let's get to more important matters. If there is one thing that makes this movie a 0 out of 10, and that is no Waluigi. I was devastated, even the post credit scene didn't seem to hint at his return in a possible sequel. So, to save this future franchise, and all it could ever become, I had to do something. I had to do something drastic. I had to know, would Waluigi be in the sequel? So I did some digging, and I made my way over to Nintendo HQ in Japan. Roll the montage. I'm on my way from misery to happiness to be. I have my hands on some files. These files are a lot of stuff to do with the sequel. There's a potential direct that's going to come up in the future, and I actually have the opening of uh, Super Mario Bros. Movie 2 right here. Uh. Have you seen the new FNAF trailer? Yeah, cinematic masterpiece. Anywho, let's get to the more important matters of casting. Who is Nintendo going to cast as Waluigi? They could do Charles Martinet, who's already proven himself to be very good at um, doing voices for these characters, but they didn't do that last time, just gave him a little bit of cameos. So, as you saw earlier, the first candidate was Christian Bale. Could work. Let's see the next one. Here is our second candidate for casting as the prestigious Purple Prince. It's Brian Cranston. I can feel my bad literally breaking. Waluigi and Wario win. Aaron Paul play Wario. We also have Adam Driver. That's a suitable name for a Mario Kart character. Wah, Mario, you mushroom-eating Koopa-brained piece of... What a pleasant fellow. Our next cast member will rock your world. It's a stone, Luigi. It's about time, it's about power. I will be seen at your location in exactly one hour. Our next cast member has performances that totally slap. It's the guy from Shark Tale. The Wiggler was an unnecessary addition to Mario Kart 7. Ooh. Keep my wife's name out your humongous spaghetti hole. That is all today. Metroid Prime for is releasing in 2054. So I saw the movie. And here is some thoughts. I liked it. I actually liked it quite a bit. Now, I'm not sure I would have liked it as much if I'd never played the games, because I wouldn't have understood all the easter eggs and references. As far as plots go, it's basic, but it didn't need to be anything above what it was. It's an adaptation of Mario. Mario never has big plots. Chris Pratt actually did pull off his voice quite well and I was rather surprised. Uh, absolutely loved the easter eggs, soundtrack was great, 
The 80s songs did feel a bit shoehorned in, but other than that, it was fine. And overall, I really enjoyed my time with it. I hope this means that we can get a Zelda movie or a Metro movie in the future, where they can focus on good stories and develop a world which actually does kind of fit a cinematic feel. Not saying that Mario didn't work in this format, but these franchises would probably work way better. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'd recommend it. Now, I will leave you with parting words. Bog.